Hi YouTube, how are you doing? I'm doing okay, not bad. Um, that post I had shared yesterday that I don't have a religion, but um, I just belong to God. I had four people, well, four men, laugh at me, you know. I think they were all men. But speaking of men, I have a friend um, on in one of my groups that has asked me several times to review um, her story versus his story, which I've studied all this, and I'm really aware, well aware of it, but I thought I'd give myself a refresher course on it today. I'm going to share that. It's called, um, and I have unsubbed from this guy because uh, he had some issues a couple weeks ago I wasn't too happy with, but it had nothing to do with men versus women. It was more he, his, his issues with another guy, so it's like, well, I just didn't want to hear it, if you know where I'm coming from. But he's got one from five years ago called His Story, or Her Story to His Story, the first edition of this, The Exodus of Eden and the Rise of the First Dynasties. Now, this is important for everybody to know, but this brings into what I want to talk about today is um, the language in the scriptures where it says that Eve was made out of Adam's rib. That's a lie. First, it's not logical. Let's start with science and logic. Can we do that? Then, then hear me out. This isn't disrespecting God, my father, our father. This has nothing to do with who's in control of what or what. The language used in the scriptures when you get down to the base, the root of the words, is she was taken from his side. Now, if I were to walk away from Doug or somebody came in here and kid kidnapped me, I would be taken from his side, not out of him. There is no woman ever in the history of, of creation that ever came out of a man. I came out of my father's thoughts. We all came out of a womb. And see, for this push of mixed genders is part of the confusion and the control that they want to keep you in. They want to keep you from hearing and feeling the true spirit of God that has always been with woman that men are trying to silence so they can have control over the women and the children. Now, that does not take God out of the picture in any way or the Christ spirit in mankind that is sorely needed at this point whether the Christ, if you believe, um, uh, is male or female or from the Father. Yes, it is from the Father. I guarantee you this is a gift I get from my Father, our Father, that I hope everybody can feel that and be guided by that goodness spirit that is in all of us that I hope you can cultivate. But we need to really squelch this push for the Baphomet that any woman ever came out of a man because it just is not true. And anybody's pushing that it is possible or ever will be possible, they're liars, they're deceivers, and they're working for Satan. It's a simple simple as that. I don't care what kind of charts and pictures and 
statues or anything else that they've got. If it's not natural science and biology and isn't proven by biology in human beings, not a flipping lizard, they can pretend they're lizards. Yeah, they're cold hearted. They can pretend that they can uh, duplicate themselves out of themselves. No, they're demonic. This is what they're doing to destroy you. If you, if you know that you didn't come out of a man, then they're not going to destroy you. If you think that there's some type of possibility that you did, then you're going to be wrecked right off the bat with the, um, with the lies that aren't um, scientifically sound, you know. Now, they can have fairy tales of being from another planet, and that's what they do there and who they are. That is not who any, not one human being on this planet, not one man has ever gave birth to a woman. Not ever. It's impossible. So why would people promote something that's an impossibility? And even go as far as to dress up like something they aren't. Why? We, we need to really dig deep into this and get the facts and the truth for God and for ourselves. Don't you think it's time that we straighten up and do it right? Digging to the truth no matter what it means. You know, that's, I believe, is imperative. You know, do we care about the kids or don't we? Are we, are you going to honestly teach a child that a woman came out of a man physically? That's the end of it right there. then you know what evil is. If if evils, they don't think that. They're portraying that. They, they know better. You know, that's why I can't say just mentally regress. I have to call it what it is. You know, this is concerning the kids, what they are pushing with their new gender textbooks and all of it. You can sew any body parts you want onto yourself or strap whatever on or take whatever off. It still does not make it sound science. So this is very important. So. <sighs> Cheers, everybody. I, you know, it's really hard for me to believe that any man could ever think that a woman did come out of another man. Maybe he would have preferred that he did. Well, you wouldn't have been suckling on a breast. But you can pretend that you did because men do not lactate. I'm not saying that it ever hasn't happened. Something was off in some hormones somewhere. Or some kind of lies were being told. Because it still isn't, um, it's not, I've heard of it, but I didn't believe it. So if you hear of like one or two things like that, people have been known to lie. My body does not lie. It, it knows who it, I know who I am. You know, I've never seen a pregnant man. And cloning is impossible. They can keep saying it is. They can replicate, uh, they can split a uh, atom, period. They can't do anything else. They can talk about Dolly. I was not there. Dolly the sheep. And because of her pristineness, bred as white as they could get her, 
they weakened the jeans and she only lasted like a few months, like seven months. And blamed it on the cloning. It wasn't cloning. It was inbreeding to get the whitest sheep that they could get to represent to the world for their lie. Cloning is still impossible. You know? Now, spiritual cloning, that's possible. Resurrection, that's possible. In the flesh. But these physical things, mixing the genders and trying to make something that it isn't provable science, it's not. They're flat out lying to the children with more than two genders. It's a lie. It's criminal. This is all in criminal towards the kids. I'll repeat it to you one more time. I, I, I'll say it like I've always said it. God thought of me, but just because he thought of me doesn't make him me. He's the baker. I'm the loaf of bread. Do, do you see the difference? So he made that loaf of bread that could re replicate other loaves of bread within the first female had nothing to do with a man coming out of a woman, or I mean the other way around, physically. It's not physical. I, I'm going to try and explain this so many different ways that it won't leave a doubt in your mind, and it won't take... Um, any grace away from God or the Christ spirit. People need to understand you need to get this straight. And it won't even take away from your scriptures if you know what you're reading. You know? Then you'll be able to detect the lies as you are reading and the twists. Or the things that have been taken out, you'll think to yourself, gee, seems like something's missing there. Yeah, sure is. Because women aren't represented in those scriptures and those documents of his story like they should be. I mean, come on, the Book of Mary was taken out of the Bible so they can call her a whore. And they keep calling her one, too. And they keep saying that woman did something wrong. I'm telling you all, if the mother of all of us did something wrong, men would not be on this planet. If women were dirty like that, you'd be dead. Or you wouldn't even exist. Or like a friend of mine shared a meme, um, you can tell when somebody needed to... Uh, not develop into an embryo, but actually be swallowed instead, if you get my gist. So. I hope you're not one of them. I met some people, though. <laughs> so. But yeah, it's, it's, we've got to go with trusted science not not something that's that they say is cutting edge what's a cutting edge number one what are they cutting and on the edge of what you know yeah. breaking news <laughs> breaking what breaking bad that's more like it No, woman didn't come out of Adam. She left his side. She was taken from his side with trickery and deceiving and brutality. So. 
And to see now, think about the sad part of that before your brain just defends the manhood within yourself. Think about the sadness of the women on this planet and the spirit that we carry trying to defend our own honor by ourselves. So if I find men that are sticking up for women in that respect, um, they've actually gone full swing the other way just then leaving the creator, the masculine creator out of the picture because of all the lies that they've discovered about the whole thing. So then they're entirely turned off whether it's true or not they're just not going to listen and this is what i'm battling for everybody if you see what i'm saying that's how important it is first off is to stop the lie just stop it like i said if woman was dirty you wouldn't be here If I was um, a vile woman, you wouldn't catch me raising any babies, not even close. Now, there might be some that had babies because um, uh, they couldn't stop fornicating, couldn't control themselves. Well, maybe that was the first woman. I'm telling you, it wasn't. God didn't make imperfect people. And these monsters are trying to push something on human beings that we aren't. We're all supposed to grow and learn, and most of us do. So they're using your insecurities and your um, lack of temperance your your lack of self-control that you have when you're young, they're using it against you because you could say to yourself, yeah, I've been dirty, so that just only makes sense. Well, no, it doesn't because the first people were made perfect. Yes, and what happened? I'd say jealousy is what happened. And what what Satan would do to destroy everybody because he couldn't get his way. And that's just what we're in the middle of. I really hope you do listen to her story before he was even uh, elevated. People honored the woman for giving birth on this planet. That doesn't make her God, although they call her goddess or whatever. The titles, do you see what I mean? It's it's really important for people to understand. Like I said, it doesn't take God out of your heart. If he, if he's in your heart, he's there. But it gives you the truth of our beginnings before all the lies were inserted to make you feel low, lower than you need to feel. That's the church fathers. 
that injected all that stuff, all the major religions, to control large groups of people. And it is all satanic. Every bit of it. So, disguised as goodness. It is hard to lose your religion. It's extremely hard. If you just say you believe in God and the Christ Spirit or the Spirit of God, you know, you're pretty safe, you know. But anyway. I mean, you can believe what you want, but if you're going to teach children that, um, People come out of men or ever have something that's impossible, that's repulsive, it's sickening, and there is a blockage inside your soul that is not letting you connect with the true facts. She was taken from his side. It's, it's like this. Let's just pretend. This is even, here's Adam. Bye, Adam. I just took her from his side. Now, looking at them two different things. Or let's make the big one, Eve. Because she gets pregnant, you know? Well, then you get, you get a whole bunch of these. Maybe a couple more of them, you know? Anyway. And people forget why. Um, see, here's, here's more lies, okay? They say there was no sex in heaven. And then they try to make it say genders. Let's make up our minds, shall we? Because the fallen angels, the watchers that were angels, had sex with the women, the daughters of men. How did that happen if they didn't have any genitalia? Because they were without sex. So you explain that one to me first, and then we'll carry on with the conversation. Because the angels have sexes, and there's no such thing aside from either spirits within people or human flesh that is either male or female. Not a mixture of anything. They never have been. And that brings to mind a lot of lot of this um, animal animal symbology that cultures have used and headdresses and different things to hide their true identity and try to make them appear something they're not. Well, here's a big surprise for you. It isn't far fetched to look at a man that's acting animalistic. And correlate his actions with like a, a lion or a chimp or whatever, you know. But they're, you're being mocked with the whole thing. I just hope you're not helping them. You have to go to logic in the flesh. You can't. You can't use their spiritual fairy tales and myths to uh, misrepresent the truth. It's a, a huge deal. I just can't explain this well enough to, I mean, 
you have to get in touch with your logic. You really do. You didn't come out of a man. None of us did. We never did. We never did. It's the language. She was taken from his side, not out of his side, not out of him. In the physical, this is still impossible. The spiritual, that's a fact. but it still wasn't physical. It never has been. There's so many lies that need to be straightened up and we need to help make this come into volition. And if people aren't going to get on board with facts and science and truth and proof of the whole thing, we're, we're never going to help anybody else by perpetuating lies. Now, it's easy to fall into the scriptures and just say, this is the word of God and read it without examination to decipher. That's deeper than to discern, to decipher. That's, that's like macro organism versus micro you know that big of a difference a macro organism you can visibly see a micro organism you have to have a microscope in order to um, observe them and that's how deep we have to go into this with our souls for everybody We can't have them teaching men can have babies. Come on. Or that they can become women. Or that women can become men. We need to really put a kibosh on this. This is not funny. Yes, people can do whatever they want to do. But not to the kids. And this is what they are doing. I don't care what stupid adult thinks that a man ever created a woman out of his flesh. That's not true. It's the other way around. Which, which come first, the chicken or the egg? I come to the conclusion that it is the egg that was inside the woman with that masculine energy and thoughts. Yes, that's why a lot of these cults venerate the egg. And that I do believe, I honestly do, that the Spirit of God could live inside a woman and he's the creator of that flesh. And then she gave birth not to herself, and not from herself. You know? It's like the first egg was fertilized with God's essence, that spark. That's pretty much what's been on my mind today, and I'm going to share this. Um, I hope you listen to it. I mean, it's pretty interesting that everybody on the planet for thousands of years gave honor to the woman and her role that she played putting us all here, and then all of a sudden she was disgraced and ignored and demoted as a human 
in so many ways. It's dirty, it's disgusting, and it's time we start sticking up for the truth. So, I hope you feel the same way. I hope you'll take some time to just at least listen to it. You don't even have to listen to it with an open mind. I'll just pray the Spirit of God will come on to you as you are listening to it. Then you can make better sense out of the scriptures that you're reading and catch the twists and the lies within all that. So that's all I can do is my best here. So I wish you a beautiful week ahead. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Please listen to the link I share. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA. Have a good night or day wherever you're at.